hi viewers welcome to ganesh youtube channel in this tutorial i am going to explain you how to create shag rods in tecla structures just like this okay let's start open your tecla structures with us environment now we are going to create parlance so click on steel and select this beam and zoom it pick the first point and second point to create beam right click on us interrupt by default we have the i section beam but we we required parlin so double click on this beam click on here select parlin z then click on mod fade to see the result and close this window you can see now we have z parlins like this okay now we're going to create remaining parlins so click on beam and pick the first point and second point to create parlins like this as you require right click on mouse interrupt okay okay now we're going to create a shag rod between parlins so go to application components by using the shortcut control f or you can click on here in search bar type s54 you will get this component shag rods component number s54 select this component and pick the parlins one by one and press the scroll middle button to create shag rods and close this window right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse redraw you you can see by default we have the shag rods like this okay now we're going to edit these shag rods as we required to change the position and size and everything so double click on this shag rod and go to parts tab in parts you can control the size of this shag rod for example click on here and click on this circular section and click on this rod and set this rod and let's take here by default we have 1 inch 15 by 16 for example we're going to take 1 inch then click on apply ok then click on modify to see the result you can see now the shag rod should be 1 inch similarly you can change this shag rod size as you require now go to parameters tab in parameters you can adjust this placement of this shag rod for example we're going to place this shag rod at middle of this parling so from bottom to shag rod distance we're going to enter here 100 millimeter these units are metric units so you need to enter here the units should be millimeter so enter here 100 millimeters then click on modify to see the result you can see now it's going downward direction so we need to enter here negative value then click on modify you can see now this agra should be at the middle of this parlin like this okay now we can adjust the spacing for example uh, from edge of this uh, parlin to sagra distance we're going to take 300 millimeter then click on modify you can see now from sagra to this edge should be 300 millimeter Use the shortcut Ctrl R and pick the rotation point. You can rotate like this. You can increase the projection of this shag rod. For example, here you can see now currently we have 1 inch 13 by 16. For example, we are going to take 3 inch, then click on modify. You can see you can increase the shag rod projection from this location. If you want to change this profile of this shag rod, then click on here shag rod and click on here and let's take this one then click on modify you can see you can use this profile different shag rods with this option then go to parameters you can increase the projection here for example we're going to take here 4 inch then click on modify you can see now this projection should be 4 inch now go to shag rods uh, in this shag rod you can adjust the spacing also for example the gap we are going to take here 5 inch then click on modify you can see now the spacing between the these two shag rods should be 5 inch you can increase the thread length also let's take 4 inch then click on modify you can change the tolerance value also at here as you require then go to parts tab by default we have this uh, profile shag rod diagonal with this kind of shag rod type if, if you don't require this diagonal shag rods, then 
so click on here parameters tab and click on here and select this option then click on modify you will get like this uh, to change this profile agro profile then click on this parts tab and click on here and click go to the circular and rods and select this rod and enter here one inch then click on apply ok then click on modify to see the result like this then click on modify apply ok okay you will get like this okay that's it about how to create sagrots in tecla structures if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gani sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos i hope this video is might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you